Hey everybody, we're going to make some rolls today and some different things. We're going to make cinnamon rolls and we're going to make uh, some pizza monkey bread and some pecan monkey bread. So we're going to have some fun. It's a rainy day here. This recipe is quite easy. It's it, I, I will go through it a little bit at a time. Stop it and write it down if you want to or take a picture of it with your phone. But this is a really simple recipe and I've tried to make it easier for you. And I've just divided it up into steps to do it. So I'm going to walk you through it. And I'm making two batches of dough at one time because I have two big mixing bowls. I've measured out 10 cups of plain flour and I've added to that uh, two thirds cup of sugar and a tablespoon of salt. These rolls aren't any good if you don't put the salt in them. And then in another bowl, I'm going to add three cups of warm water, two tablespoons of jarred yeast, or you can use three packages of, of yeast, a tablespoon of sugar, and let that sit and get bubbly. And then you're going to add two eggs to this mixture. Beat the eggs up first before you in there, and a quarter cup of butter, a quarter cup of oil, and a quarter cup of milk. And you just pour all that into the flour mixture and you let your mixer do the hard work. Now, you can stir all this stuff and mess with it, but I like to just stop the mixer every once in a while and, and scrape the dough down. Now, put this dough, after it gets all mixed up, into a big greased bowl in your oven at 100 degrees and it'll rise in a between uh, 30 minutes to an hour it'll get double in size i cover it with a dish towel and while that one's rising start another batch i've already you know i've already measured out 10 cups of flour and just do the same thing and you it's such a simple dough and it's really good now, this is my favorite thing. I love this silicone mat. I don't ever use it for making pie crust, but I love it because I don't have to flour this mat. And I buy these pans by 30 or 40 at a time because I make my cinnamon rolls and my rolls in these pans so that I can give them away. Now, after about an hour, 30 minutes to an hour, your dough is doubled. Punch it down really good, and then pour it out on your mat or your countertop, whatever you like. And I like to cut the dough in half and work with half at a time. I love this little uh, dough cutter too. It's like cost five bucks. And I cut strips of dough and then cut it into rectangles. And I don't like to mess with the dough much, like I don't like to mess with biscuit dough. I just put it in a pan, in a buttered pan, and you let it rise. Now let's make some cinnamon rolls. Take a cup of sugar, and I like a lot of cinnamon, so I've probably got a huge tablespoon of cinnamon in this sugar, and I'm gonna stir it all up. And I'm gonna take that other half of dough, and I'm gonna shape it into a rectangle that's 15 by 12, and the, my mat measures that out. And I just do it with my hands. And then I'm gonna smear some butter on it, pour the sugar on top of it, and then I'm going to start rolling it and stretching the dough as I roll a little bit up each time. And you can feel it and it comes together. And then you're going to pinch the dough to make it stay together. Now, here's the secret to cutting it. I use dental floss. And you go in about an inch, inch and a quarter. And you crisscross it. You slide it under. You crisscross it. And then you pull it together. And it cuts the prettiest cinnamon roll out. And you put them in a pan. Now, don't turn them over sideways or you'll lose all the goody out of them. Just put them in your pan. And a buttered pan. And just smear the butter around. I, I melted about six sticks of butter and, and just used it for everything. Then, then take uh, the cinnamon rolls and just place them in there. Turn, hold them sideways as you do it so you don't lose the good stuff. And then put them in your pan. These pans held six or seven cinnamon rolls. 
And then I did one pan that only had four cinnamon rolls in it, and they turned out prettier than all the rest. So I may just do four in these pans unless I get me some oblong pans where I could do more at one time. But these are always such a treat Christmas morning because I'm going to cook them and put them in the freezer. And then I'm going to give them to my daughter-in-law so she won't have anything to do for Christmas morning. So she'll already have these cinnamon rolls and then she just has to pull them out, heat them up in the oven while they're unwrapping presents. And I'm going to make her the uh, icing too, which is powdered sugar, some cream, and some vanilla flavoring. And you just stir it all together and I'll put it in a bag so she can cut the end off and ice these these wonderful cinnamon rolls. And this is just such a simple more Christmas morning. I'm, you know, I'm not eating breads right now, so I'm making this all to give away, except for Thanksgiving dinner, which I'll have my rolls for Thanksgiving dinner. But I don't eat them all the time, so it's always fun to have, have these rolls in your freezer. And I'm going to pre-cook them. I'm not going to... I'm going to pre-cook them and put lids on them and put them in the freezer. So all I got to do is take them out and heat them up. Heat and serve rolls, which is wonderful. Now what are we doing? I'm trying to figure out. I got another pan. Yeah, I had four or five pans ready to go. And these have little lids that can go on them and crimp down. Smearing more butter around. Goodness gracious, I've used a lot of butter today. <laughs> and just keep cutting them until you get them all cut up. It made probably around 15 to 20 cinnamon rolls, which is wonderful. Now, you can add some nuts to them if you want to, but we don't like nuts in our cinnamon rolls. I'm going to make something with some nuts in a second. Now, I've learned a secret about nuts. I like to toast the nuts before I make anything with them. That keeps them from being gooey if they're toasted nuts. And they just work so much better in pecan pies and all kinds of things when they're toasted. I know this is, is really a long video and I forgot that there they are. I'm making a mess there. Hey, they rose up real pretty. I just stuck them back in that 100 degree oven and there, look at them. You just have to ice them, but I'm not going to ice them yet. They're, they're going to, they're going to be, um, frozen. And then all she has to do is ice them up. Next, we're going to make pizza monkey bread. So take four or five, probably around six cheese sticks. And cut them into pieces, six pieces each. So that's going to be about 36 dough balls you're going to make. And you can add a pepperoni if you want to. I like the pepperoni in there. And then here's my leftover butter. I've added some garlic to it and some parsley flakes. And I'm going to roll a bunch of dough around, around the pepperoni and the cheese. And put it in my bunt pan and let it rise. And boy, it's cooking right now. It smells so good. Next thing we're going to make is some sticky buns with pecans. And these sticky buns are just monkey bread that's been um, been coated with dark brown sugar, cinnamon, and and roasted pecans. And you mix all that stuff together. And then you take your dough out. This is my second batch of dough. And I started cutting it into little pieces. I put the small pieces in the butter. And I put the larger pieces in another pan to let those rise for rolls. And I just kept filling that pan up with little pieces of dough. And then dumped it all in the sugar. And put it all in. And shook it around. Excuse me. Shook it around. And put it in the butt pan. And then I buttered the tops of the rolls. And look how pretty they turned out. The less you handle the rolls, the better they look, I think. I don't like to roll them into balls or anything. So, y'all, try this recipe. It's fun and it's easy. Yum! <laughs>